Welcome to the Scrappy Entrepreneur Podcast, the show that brings you practical, informative tips from the trenches to help you thrive and prosper as an entrepreneur. Whether you're just beginning your journey or working to grow your existing business, this show is for you. And now your host, the original Scrappy Entrepreneur, Paula Y. Welcome back to the Scrappy Entrepreneur Show. I'm so excited for our guest today. He is famous. He is actually the greatest sports handicapper in all of Las Vegas. And what's so great about him, and his name is AJ Grimacia, is that he has built an amazing business. He's an entrepreneur around his passion, which is sports betting, right? Yep. So, Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I really appreciate you taking time out of your Vegas lifestyle to come talk to us. Yeah. And, not and not bad. Sh- yeah. <laughs> so tell our listeners in layman terms what your business is. Yeah. How do you make money? So I'll keep it simple. It's real easy. Um, I am a sports handicapper, so aka a sports consultant, and I'm a sports better. So I'm a professional gambler. Right. So how before we jump into the business. Tell me, how, where did you grow up? I grew up in California, um, Orange County, California. i uh, been there about 13 years, and um, I moved to Vegas when I was um, 16. 16? Yeah. With your family? I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So ever since then, I kind of, you know, grew up in Vegas. So, so you, I've been here for 13 years. Wow. So you kind of grew up as a kid in Vegas. Were you always attracted to gambling and the whole casino lifestyle or um not necessarily um i just like sports i just wanted to watch sports for i've been watching sports all my life and um i just you know realized there's you could turn an outcome into an income in in this type of city so um i just wanted to do um kind of get away from my nine to five life that I was doing uh, in the corporate life. And what was the nine to five life? So you worked at, um, Starbucks. Yeah. I worked at Starbucks like 13 years ago. I was like 18 years old. (laughs) And, uh, at the same time I was going to college. So at the same time I was, uh, working at AT AT&T as a retail sales representative. And I worked there for five years. I capped out of everything. Like my salary was capped out. I was the top dog in the company. Right. What? You were like in the nine to five grind. Yeah, I was killing it though. I was 22 years old, 23. I was just making really good money for as a 23 year old kid. So um, before you hear how you got courage to start your own company, where, where did you go to college? I went to UNLV. And what did you study? BA in business, minor in law. Oh, okay. Yeah, business. So. And did your parents, do they have wild visions of you being a lawyer? Um. Well, it was my minor, but um. The it, it was a lot of money um to become an lo- attorney right and lawyers it's like hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars right and my parents aren't you know wealthy so for me to kind of become an attorney um a lawyer or anything in that category i had to come out of my pocket so i kind of did that as a side you know as a minor um i wish you know sometimes like hey you know the, I, I have clients that are attorneys right now that that are like personal injury attorneys that bets with me every year. Really? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's funny. One lives in my neighborhood, so um, it's it's a good you know it's a good and bad I would say, but I I, I still prefer what I do now over being an attorney or engineer or right? anything like that. Oh, so. that sounds miserable. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> do each of their own. Right. right. Yeah. So you're working the nine to five grind, and you yeah. decide you want to start your own company. What? How do, do you start betting or how does that happen? Yeah, I would just, you know, gambling in quotation. I don't really consider sports betting gambling anymore. It's like a long-term investment to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I started 2012 and just, you know, $100, 50 bucks a game, $100 a game, baseball, basketball, football, hockey. Um, and then slowly I realized I was really, really good at like picking these winners like i was really good at it wow i was just killing it i was going on these hot streaks like my friends were like oh my god you should give me a pick or two right, right. so i was like hmm, okay i guess i got a niche i got a niche that my friends don't have so and so one thing led to another um fast forward i don't know since 2012 to 2014 two years later i decided to um you know actually take it seriously like hey there's money to be made in selling my knowledge so right. 
for for that, I just kind of like you know what? Let me let me see what if people will be interested in buying my picks and and make a second stream of income. Right? Everyone wants that. Everyone has it. Right. So, um, so everyone your side should hustle? have it. Well, everyone has it, but everyone should have it. Right. Was it your side hustle then while you were it still was. working? Okay. Yeah, I was still working at AT and T. Wow. So um, it was good. You know, I, I liked it, but I slowly like kind of wanted to like see how everything would work out with selling, becoming a sports consultant. Right. So how did you start building your business? Um, building my business from ground up. I mean, I had eleven clients in 2014. So that year that I went public with it. I had uh, I had 11 clients. Most, I would say eight people are my friends that believed in me. And the other two are like referrals, word of mouth and things like that. Um, it's all social media now. It's all 100% my Instagram. My Instagram is betwithaj.lv, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter. I have 52 affiliated marketers working for me right now. And they're usually all my clients as well. So tell me about the affiliate marketing for entrepreneurs out there. So it sounds like you do most of your marketing mm-hmm. organically through social media. Absolutely. But tell me about the affiliate marketers. How did you get that on? Yeah, it's it's super easy. I, I realize Google, Amazon's doing it. Google's doing it. Apple's doing it. All the big companies have affiliated marketers. So why can't I have my clients tell if I'm doing good, like, yo, let's, you know, let's share my let's share your ticket on your Instagram that you have 5000 followers on. Right. If you bring a client over, I'll take care of you. You make another side income on top of betting with me. And 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 we're both making money and I'm changing everyone's lives that come into my uh, kind of my business. So. Right. So tell me, how do you do it? How do you become <laughs> the, the I don't, I don't greatest I <laughs> sports handicapper in Las Vegas? Like, how yeah. do you become so good? I, I don't know. It's it's in my DNA, I would say. I don't know. It's something about um, I've always been passionate about. Um, you know, just literally just being the best at what I'm doing. So I found something. I'm glad. I'm blessed to be able to find found something that early on in life, not when I'm 40, 50. Right. Uh, when I was 22 years old, you know, when people are partying, doing keg stands, but I'm over here at the casino seeing if I could make a side income. Right. Right. So I just always had a plan and um, I, I've always been good with numbers. So I used to day trade a while ago. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, while you were at and Yeah, too? Just, just here and there, like Forex, penny stocks, things like paper trade. Right. I did that. You know, you, you, you and I both know it's, there's no ROI on that unless right. you have a $1 million net worth in that, in your E-Trade account. You know, then you could really push money. Right. Uh, I had 500 bucks, $1,000. So for right. me, I'm profiting, I don't know, five, ten dollars $10 a swing. So it's like, ugh. Yeah, I just realized that just wasn't for me. Right. So, but I've, I've been always good with numbers. I've, I've been good with math, not like calculus math, but like I know, like if I put 100 bucks in to make 300, I just knew that I always knew um, if I have thousand, I know how to make three thousand dollars in profit, whatever that I do in life. I wow. just done it. Yeah. So do you need to know? numbers and math as it relates to the statistics of the game or how do you I you told me once that you spend hours analyzing the game yeah so I mean as for me yes you got to know what you're doing like you got to know when the line movement comes up and when the sharp money comes into one side of the team the other side um, as a customer that buys my picks you don't got to do anything you read my emails you push a button from your William Hill station casino app whatever that you choose to choose to get right um, uh, in my, in my end, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to do literally 16 to 18 hours a day, uh, during baseball season, which is like my strongest sport out there. Um, you gotta, I gotta stay the hustle. Just, just keep grinding that one out. So, so you spend 16 to 17 hours a day yeah. looking at the game before you actually send out your picks to your Absolutely, customers. Absolutely. Yeah. Night before starts around at 11, 11 o'clock. That's when the night before, that's when all the lines come out for the game for the next day. Um, that's like around 11, 12 o'clock. And then 6 a.m., the lines change again. 8, 10, lines change again. It's just all, it's, it all depends on who's betting what side, and you just got to keep an eye on that. I usually send out emails um, three to four hours before or sometimes two. Um, games usually start 4 p.m. PST because um, we're in Vegas. Um, so th- th- all my clients get the picks right in time. Like They have plenty of time in place of that. So your clients get an email a couple hours before the game starts. Your clients have an app from some 
betting facility, like you said, Correct. William Hill, or what was the other one? Yeah, Station Casinos. Any casinos have a, like an online sports betting account now. Okay, so you, you don't have to one. go in no. anymore. Okay. No, only when you want to go in and withdraw your profit okay. or deposit your money. Like you want to have a bigger bankroll, vice versa, right? So you don't even have, like back in the day, 10 years ago, you have to go place a bet at, at a casino, right? Right, I now, thought you had to. No, now you could be in New York. You could be in anywhere in the world and place a bet. In Vegas, long out of yet. Vegas, like say Station Casinos. Uh, I think Stations, um, you had to be in Vegas. Oh, not, okay. I think I know. Uh, William Hill, uh, Nevada, U.S., uh, you have to be in Nevada for that. Okay. But a good thing, Supreme Court just left a ban for all 50 states to allow Sports gambling. Oh, wow. So it's a Your good thing for me. Your business is about to blow up. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. So That's amazing. I'm super excited for that. Um, so whenever they have each, you know, bookies related, whatever they want to do, like we just got Colorado just got approved. Um, they actually got um, uh, sports bookie, bookies out there. All the, almost every East, East Coast state has it now. Um, it's, it's just blowing up everywhere. Wow. Yeah. So... Every every game, you send out an email to your c- customers a couple hours before explaining and laying out what we need to do, right? Correct. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it, it's it's super simple. Um, l- like you said, like I said a, a few, few minutes ago, um, I will send out an email about one, one to two hours before the game starts. Um, you read the email, uh, make sure you, you know, keep it, you know, keep my email separated versus any other emails that's coming to your phone. Right. And um, you just place the bet, and then literally you go do what you have to do for the rest of the day. It's super simple. Right. Like, literally, if you can read an email, push a button on your smartphone, you can make money with me. How do people go off the rails and not follow you? Um, most people, get they get greedy. You know, they think I'm God. So it's like, <laughs> I'm really good at what I'm doing, right? I mean, I'm... I'm really good at it, but I mean, even I'll, I will have a bad day, but I will never have a bad season, year. I've never had one. Right. I've never had a bad month. I could have a bad day, of course. Everyone's gonna have a bad day, right? Right. Uh, but I will never have a a bad season. So, um, I they just kind of, I don't know. They get greedy. They want to make. Uh, I like to say most people say it like I like to make AJ money right away. And I'm like, man, I've been doing this for seven years. I've been just started to get, brought my million dollar, multi million dollar home this year. Uh, it took me a long time, a lot of money management, a lot of discipline, uh, being consistent with what you're doing. Um, most people don't have that. They want that get rich quick scheme. Right. right? That's, right. that's what most people think gambling is. Right. Um, that's why they're at the casino playing table games, which I do not like. Uh, <laughs> I'm right. not a fan of that. Um, that's where the casinos make all their money. Think about it. And, right. Um, only place you can make money in the casino is the sports book. Right. They don't have any control over that. Hmm. So do you make more of your money um, as a business person actually doing the betting or with the income from your clients? 100% betting. Wow. 100% betting. Think about it. I mean, my picks are a couple thousand dollars a season. It uh, depends on what kind of sports that we have or package, whatever that we decided to put together. Uh, but while I'm... While someone's buying that versus me betting ten, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a game, um, I think it's just you know obviously that weighs in, you know, kind of like the law of average. So yeah, what has been your biggest bet ever on one? Um, wagering or winning? Both. Wagering, um, hundred thousand dollars. I think it was two years ago. Oh, I think it was either Astros or the Red Sox, and the most win I've gotten from a future bet uh, from Red Sox. Wow. So like what gave you the confidence? Dollars. What gave me that? Just everything looked right. Everything looked right on the paper, right? It's like buying a house. Everything got to look right on the paper. Right. And then you just pull the trigger and boom, you're, you're good to go. And okay. what did you win? $100,000. Oh, you was, won the 100 It was a really good, it was, wow. a, yeah, it was a profit of 100, 100K. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. That's amazing. And you talk about being disciplined. So you obviously made a lot of money with your business and with the sports betting, but you've been very, very disciplined about <laughs> yeah. saving money, mm-hmm. you know, buying stuff of, of that build wealth. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the discipline that you have. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not one of those guys that just go to the club after a good night of win. I'm not that guy. Um, if it's going to make me money, yes, I'll go. Like if, if it's going to be like an appearance that I have to make at a, um, a nice 
cool little old club or a bar or something like that. Like, hey, bet with AJ's coming through, you guys. You guys got to meet this guy, this Las Vegas legend or something. Then I'll go. I'll go because it, it, that's revenue sales to me. Right. Um, however, I'm not the kind of guy just to go be a degenerate gambler because that's literally what Vegas is built on, right? The casinos get built on uh, every year. Every two years, it's a new casino. It's because of those people that are literally gambling their 401k, their two-week paycheck, uh, their uh, Social Security. Um, I've just been really good at just, you know, spending the right amount of money to make me the money. Like the cars that I buy, it converts into sales. Uh, my brand, it, you, before you start selling, you got to create your brand 100%. If you don't create your brand, no one's going to know who you are. Right. You know? So um, I invest my, I, pretty much I invest in myself. Like I, I don't just donate money to somebody else. Right. Or another company. Who are your customers? Like, who buys your pets? Oh, man. Every, everyone. Um, stay-at-home moms to corporate executives. Wow. Stay-at-home moms? Yeah. Yeah, Paula. That was yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they need some exciting. I'm yeah. not a stay-at-home mom. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no. I get it. The housewives. Of, yeah, the you housewives know. of Summerlin. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, I could see that it's very exciting for them. It's so awesome. I mean, I'm mm. going to buy your picks this season. Yay. I'm excited to try it. For sure. Awesome. Who are your competitors? Um, well, I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to, you know. I mean, I are they to. big companies? Oh. Are they all individual people? I would say individual, somewhere like call center company. They do cold calls like it's, it's like some realtor group. It's, it's so funny to me because that's all they strive on, just getting those sales numbers up. They're not even betting with you. They don't care. Right. I've seen it all. I mean, have those same customers that buy their picks and get, they go bankrupt. They'll buy my picks like, hey, man, these are the people that where you say they're your com competitors. Um, they just literally made me go bankrupt. Like, please save me. Dig me out of this hole that I'm in. Right. So do you think the industry will go corporate one day? Like, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think the betting because it's such a it's a free world. Everyone could do it. You could do it. If anyone could do it. But you just got to be really good at what you're doing. Right. One, you're dealing with people's money. OK, because you're mm -hmm. you're dealing with a lot of money. Um, so you got to If you don't produce. No one's you're not going to have the reoccurring, you know, people to come by every year. So Right. And you had told me earlier that since you started, you've had about 3,500 clients all in. Correct. And yeah. then every year you have about 700? Yeah, about seven 800 clients that signs up with me every single year. And then you sell every um, sport, Correct. right? Which sports don't you do? Um, I don't do soccer. I don't do, um, well, let's say the, the stuff that I do. Uh, I do baseball, MLB, uh, NFL, college, pro and college, obviously, um, college football, college basketball, NBA, NFL, and sometimes hockey. Um, not the greatest um, in, in, in making money to me uh, from my experience of what I've been doing for the last five years, um, but I, uh, definitely football, basketball, hockey. Wow. Oh, sorry, baseball. Oh, baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would think that hockey has to be difficult. Well, it I guess, so difficult. yeah, think about it. It's a little puck. Right. And six, five guys and just a little net. <laughs> you got to score. Right. You know, so it's, it's always like seems like hockey. the same thing going it's on. The same thing. It's going back and forth with a little stick. And thing. <laughs> right. What do you think about football coming up? Love it. I mean, so, are we going to play this year? Is the NFL going to go? So. I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they built a stadium for Raiders, right? So, um, it should be it should be popping off real quick. Do you we think that they'll play. have you know live sports with people in the arena? This year, I don't know. I, it's 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 an it's a toss up. Like yeah. LA County just banned like all the venues. They sports, did. Yeah, concerts for until twenty twenty one, um, in LA County. So I don't think anyone's gonna be at the LA Dodgers Stadium, L, uh, Angels. Lakers. I mean, I don't think it, none of that's going to happen. But Vegas, we're pretty lenient on that, right? Yeah. They because we're built on tourist people. people. Yeah. This city is built on people that come in here and watch and stuff. Right. <laughs> I think everyone's going to leave California. Everyone's going to leave California. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I, 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 I just don't want them coming to Vegas, though. <laughs> I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I'll, Hopefully our home prices will go up, so that's a good thing. <laughs> right. I mean, seriously, I heard they're shutting off water to non-essential businesses, yeah. and now they're saying no concerts, which means yeah. there's going to be no live sports because you can't say no concerts but live sports. Yeah, it so doesn't work that way. They just don't care. So they're just going to shut it down. I think so. Yeah. And then Vegas know. is going to blow up. Blow up. We're going to be the new California. Ugh, right. I don't know. Are you ready for that? <laughs> I think so. I mean, I like the when 
I like that people love Vegas. Yeah. You know, growing up here and I just have, it's like my home. So really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't grow up here. So it's, you know, I'm from, I'm from Orange County, California. So I'm from California. So I have seen it converts in the last decade and it's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go back. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, you're here and you're not paying state income tax. Yeah. 10% so. we save every single year. Right. And, uh, I just filed my taxes this year and I've seen it. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. <laughs> Literally like two days ago. <laughs> so how have you been dealing with the quarantine? How has it affected your business? Um. Yeah, right now I'm just literally relaxing. Um, it's, I'm just, it's, it's good to be, you know, self-care, self-love, rejuvenate yourself, brain, everything. So I could go fire away when it comes to July. Um, right. Yeah. So July is when MLB is going to start again. Um, according to all the, all the news outlets out there, um, they're just trying to figure out what, what the players want to do and their money, their income that they're going to have to make. Because they went from 160 games a season to 80 games. Wow. So literally their income got cut in half. My income got cut in half. I'm losing, oh my God, like a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully you'll be able to make it up. Yeah. I mean, hopefully. Or there's always 2021. <laughs> right. It's always next or the, year. Or the football season that's coming up in September. So yeah. that should be popping off really good. So the life of a professional gambler in Las Vegas, what's that like? You live a pretty beautiful lifestyle. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. yeah. Tell me about your cars. <laughs> um, it's it's in the it's good and bad. Um, I, I take everything with a grain of salt, um, but um, it's it's good. It's been very good for me. Um, it's not just me. It's it's about being an entrepreneur. It's right. not just being a sports consultant or a handicapper or a better. I just ever since I left that. AT&T job, it just, I've, I've skyrocketed everything that I do. I've connected with the right people. I've networked with the right people. I was able to go around, meet new people in my same sort of industry, you know. Um, and um, I, I, I live a pretty decent life. I mean, it, it's, it's a good life I live, I would say. Yeah, I mean, you've built, it's so admirable because you've built a business around your passion. Yeah. And think of how many people stay at the 9 to 5. Yeah. Taking that paycheck from AT and T, afraid to leave their job, yeah. but you've like built this amazing business around Thank your you. passion, Thank and you. it shows. I mean, you're <laughs> being very successful. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, no, it's I, I love it. Um, it. It got it got me the. Uh, I've always been a car guy, so a little background about me. Like I don't know when the Fast and Furious came out in twenty uh, two thousand two. I've always loved loved cars, right? And yeah. I, I've always drove around, uh, go karting and things like that when I was young. Um, and I've always been in the cars and always wanted a Lamborghini. I always wanted the McLaren, the Ferrari. I, I always wanted those. And, and finally, I could say at the age of 27, when I became financially free, I was able to get my first Lamborghini cash. Uh, no payments, no lease. How much does that cost? I paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars for that car. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, what was three that? Three years ago. Oh my gosh! What was that car buying experience like? Oh man, I documented everything for content. You for did. Instagram. Yeah, so I can go on your Instagram and see that. Oh yeah, yeah. On my Facebook, especially on my on my on my pages. So I how made do you, sure. Do you just go to the dealer? Or do you? What do you do? With cash, hundred quarter million dollars in cash. Yeah, with my auto broker. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh yeah. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna buy a car like that, I'm gonna make a statement. How did it feel that day to walk so into good. the, oh. where you like, I'm here. Yeah. Well, they're like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Like, you know, the, like the general manager, the sales guys, they're like, okay, something's not right. Right. Cause they thought, <laughs> you, like, who are you with this yeah, cash? Like, Why are they coming out with these kind of amount of money? But no, it's just, um, you know, uh, they, then when they get to know me, um, they understand what I do for a living. I'm, I'm a cash business, mm -hmm. um, you know, sports betting. It's, it's all cash. Right. So it was a good feeling. Oh, that, that I will never. I still have that car, Paula. I actually drove oh, that do? car today to oh, your you do? house. Yeah. Oh, wow. I did. It's outside. So um, so you bought that one, but you have a couple others, right? Yeah. You have a Porsche? Yeah, I have a Porsche GT3 RS. Um, I have an, um, also a McLaren 720S. I uh, bought that car t 2018, uh, McLaren 720S. And I just picked up a Porsche GT3 RS last year, six months ago. So, so far you've invested how much in vehicles? I have a Ford Raptor as well. Oh, my <laughs> that's my daily driver. <laughs> yeah. Before that, I had an RS7, which I sold. Um, but I think I've invested probably, uh, probably around a million dollars in supercars. 
I hear they're an okay investment, right? Yeah, when you not. go to sell them, you can make money. They're not oh. like a typical car when you drive off the car lot. Yeah, definitely not like, um, yeah, not definitely not a regular car that you could just, they didn't just mass produce these cars. So I make sure they're like the, the special edition cars. I will do some work, work to it as well. Like a little modification here and there to make it look, um, you know, a little bit of my style in it. Yeah. And, but mainly people think, Hey AJ, why do you, why do you F off and like buy these cars? Why do you buy these stuff? Why do you buy the nicest Rolex? Why do you, why do you have to spend so much money? And why can't you just save? What people don't understand is me buying these cars every year quadrupled my sales. Right. You use it as a marketing year. tool, right? Marketing. And Tell us about that. Yeah. yeah. So I have my Instagram logo all over. Uh, my Instagram handle, bet with AJ on every single of my car. One, it's a tax write-off. Right. Okay. And it's, it's like a billboard, off. right? Yeah, it's it's a driving billboard. Instead of me, um, you know, hiring uh, a guy to drive around, I literally drive around in the strip with my car, and people take pictures. They follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's just, you know, I converted that into me having fun, my passion. Again, going back to me having a passion for right. cars. Now that passion makes me unlimited amount of money. So what are your, what do your parents think? Oh, they're, I don't even know. (laughs) When you pulled up in your Lamborghini, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they live in California. I've been, I've been self-made, self-paid all my life since I was 18 years old. Um, uh, But when they come over, when I go over there, I don't really do, you know, they live in Cali. It's about 20, 60 miles one way. Don't really take the cars out all the okay. way to see them, but when they do come over, um, they they're just fascinated and they just brag to their their friends about me, their coworkers, and things like that. Um, also, but it's it's funny because they they wanted me to, to stick with the nine to five. They did corporate executive yeah, because they're they're corporate executives. My dad's a corporate executive, so for for him to see me as a hundred percent entrepreneur that do not rely on a paycheck, it took him a while. It took him. I don't. I think five to ten years took him. Like, nah, he's gonna, he's gonna. You know, the doubters and the naysayers. Right. Unfortunately, my parents were one of those people. Like, no, nah, you're not gonna. You know, this is just like a couple of year thing. He's just gonna get over it. Gonna go back to becoming a executive somewhere. <laughs> or, right. Or, you know, so. And now they're uh, proud. I, I hope so. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you were telling me a little bit ago while we were preparing for the show about how these casinos now. They don't even, some of them don't even allow you in the casinos because you're such a big winner, right? That yeah, to me is yeah. fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling. Um, but it's in a way it's, it's kind of sucks too. Um, I do want to wager big when I know a game's going to hit, you know, lights out. So, but they're going to limit me. They know who I am. They're going to say, no, AJ, sorry, man. We could only do 5k, 10k. Really? Yeah, when I'm with there, when I'm at the counter with fifty thousand dollars, they're just they afraid that me. you're gonna win. They know I'm gonna win. Right. Facts. So it, they just, you know, they're just gonna limit me to five thousand dollars. So it's just then I have to run around the entire casino, entire Vegas to put to spread my tickets around. Right. It's, it's just a hassle. Right. Know? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So I always looked at this when I was um, preparing for this interview. I wrote down that in Vegas. Um, they say that the house never loses, but you kind of throw that on its head, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, they have no chance against me at all. Right. Um, <laughs> it's the, I mean, like I said, if I had a losing season, um, knock on wood, I haven't had one. Um, they are taking a break right now, I would say. Right. But they're actually losing more money because of this quarantine, right? Like, right. Because they're shut down for a couple months in Las Vegas. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, Vegas is – Vegas and the casinos are built on losers, not on winners at all. Right. Zero. Yeah. Like if you keep winning, they're going to cut you off. They're I can't gonna... believe they just cut you off. Oh, yeah. That is crazy. It's just because they don't want to get hit, you know, tough with, I, with that. So. That's mind-blowing to me. Yeah. It's just, I've seen it happen, and it's just, you know. What's been the hardest part about building your business? You said it's all a cash business. Do you have problems with dealing with the cash or... No, no, I, I, I pay my taxes every year. Um, I don't really have anything to uh, uh, worry about when it comes to that. Um, like, do you ever deal with angry customers? Do you oh. ever deal with, like, the, fin- the paperwork part of it? Like, to yeah. me, your business seems like a dream. 
no employees, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. No inventory. Correct. No buildings. Yeah. No commercial rent. Zero. And you have an amazing business. Like yeah. that to me is like yeah. the best business ever. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly why I wanted to take this, take, take this to a, you know, upper, you know, take it up to up a notch. Cause I realized, um, I, all I needed is iPhone. All I needed is an iPhone and Wi-Fi. I don't need anybody, anybody else. I could do the marketing myself. Because right. I'm on my phone every day, right? Everyone's on their phone every day. Right. While you're scrolling through Instagram, I am literally posting stuff on Instagram, video, an ad, and that'll convert into money. So every single minute that I'm on Instagram, social media, Facebook, talking to a client, that converts into money. So, yeah, I do have that freedom where I could be in Bora Bora. I could be in Cancun, anywhere in the world, London, mm -hmm. even. I, I just, the time difference, yes, but... Um, I could literally send out an email. Everyone eats, everyone wins, and I'm I, and myself. I could make money anywhere in the world. Right. Um, I think the only thing that I would say um, it's just having to deal with angry customers. Yeah, we're gonna all have that. I have my client retention. This is the best thing about my business. My client retention rate is ninety six percent. That's a good every year. So I'm not worried for that four percent people that's gonna talk crap, call me names. It didn't work out for me. Yeah, because you were betting like a degenerate. So <laughs> right. So you, you, you wanted to make AJ money, quotation, AJ money. This is literally what they will say to their friends. Like, man, AJ puts out, he bought a Lamborghini, this and that. I'm like, yeah, man, I've been doing this for seven years. Right. You not, didn't not win one bet. Months. Right. No, not right. even a season. Right. It, you know, I started with $5,000 bankroll. Right. That, that was my pot at William Hill. Now that grew to six figures. Right. So if I so, bet with you this MLB season, like how much should I bet? Yeah. Um, like what do we start out with? What's any any amount you like. Um, it, it's kind of hard because I get that question every day. Right? Like hey, what, man, what, what do I start off with? Right. It's a good question. It is a good question. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you also, don't I don't know your finances. Right. So I, I could tell you somebody that worked at Chipotle, Starbucks, AT&T makes 50000 a year, 36000 a year. Somebody that that live in my neighborhood makes million dollars a year, so it's harder for me to say, let's hey, you need to bet ten thousand dollars a game, or you need to bet um, you need to have saved up towards this investment a couple of thousand dollars. But me, average client, their average bets about two three hundred dollars a game. Okay, so it's super easy. Most people do have two three hundred dollars right. a game to bet. So um, I never had that issue. Um, but most people come in with like a few thousand dollars, two, three, four thousand dollars. And then uh, I call it like my whale players. I would say um, big boys. Um, um, they're betting like me. Their 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 bankrolls are like hundred thousand dollars and they're really swinging big numbers. Yeah. If my husband tries to do that, will you let me know? Yeah, he's for sure. Not to be I mean, a whale he better. has my number. He could probably text me. <laughs> he better not be a well better. He better stick to the two, three hundred. Yeah. yeah, I don't no, want him no, to be like. I want to be like AJ more. with it. I want a car like him. <laughs> you guys already have everything. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What's where does where do you think your industry is going? Like, is there any is there any place that you're like a roadblock? Yeah, or? like, are you worried about the laws or like? Nope. It's just going up from here. Up from here. Yeah. As soon as the Supreme Court um, lift the ban, that's when I knew, like, I got I to gotta, I gotta hit Instagram really hard, social media really hard. They got to put out the right content to, to see, see that because literally content is the new money. Like, it's, it's not a joke anymore. Like, everybody, like, um, right. you know, you, you heard of the energy drink called Bang Energy, right? Yeah. You ever heard of that? And uh, you see yeah. how that blew up all over social media? Right. That guy is so smart. The CEO, he just attacked. The IG models, the the hot girls with, you know, and, and the, even the guys, you know, with with nice big following. And, and look at that. Number one energy drink company in the world. Wow. Do you do any paid um, boosting on Instagram? Um, I used to until Facebook shut me down. Why? Because of gambling. They didn't oh, want to. you're not allowed to gamble. <laughs> yeah. There's that thing. So, yeah, they, they were like, yeah, no, we, we can't do that or, or something like that. I didn't care. Yeah. Um, but I do, like I said, me having the affiliated marketers help so much. Yeah. So, like, when you start winning with me, you're going to talk to your to your friends about it. You know? Right. Man, AJ made me $5,000 this month. Right. Tax-free. I am going to get my network of moms together because yeah. we always need that underground <laughs> pot of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god seriously but it's it's a, it's a good uh you know just just having the right thing when you do the right thing everyone 
would want to get on board. Yeah, it sounds fun too. Yeah, it's you know? so awesome. Yeah. Well, any parting advice for entrepreneurs who are stuck at that nine to five and considering a side hustle or jumping into do their passion? All the scrappy entrepreneurs? Yeah. Absolutely. Scrapped up everything. <laughs> Get it and never give up. That's what I will tell. I mean, I never gave up. I had so many daughters, naysayers. It's just tell me you're never going to be successful. Really? Oh, yeah. To this day. They'll tell me my cars are leased. My cars are rented. My house is leased. You, Paula, know my house is not leased. I can vouch for <laughs> his realness. Yeah. <laughs> Very authentic. And here. So, yeah. Thank you. But, um, you know, it's just you just you just can't worry about what other people say. If there's haters out there, it's going to talk to you. Um, crap about your brand, your sales, or whatever. Let them, because that's right. free publicity. Right. Any in, any person that's intelligent that goes on my Instagram or meet me in person, they know if that if I'm a fake person or a scam, right? Or or a real person that actually, oh, okay, he's actually making really good money. Right. He's actually making people money. So why not give this guy a chance and make me money instead of hating? Right. Get on board, cash out with me. That's the easiest yeah. thing that I'll say when people say anything bad about me but most people just stop worrying about what other people say right and they say as doubters even your mom and dad if they don't believe in you move out of the house right i'm telling you move out of the house i mean i did it i did that yeah and um i like i said 19 when i was 19 i was by myself so i move out of the house and you know just don't don't worry about what I, anyone else say just, just chase your dream yeah your dream chaser you get you get one life that's it one life. One life. <laughs> well, congratulations on your success. Thank it's you. an honor to know you, and I just really have enjoyed um, our talk today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And um, Where can people find you? What's your Instagram handle? Yeah, so it goes by betwithaj.lv, and my uh, website is currently being updated as well, uh, www.betwithaj.com. And my Facebook page uh, is just, you just type Bet With AJ. It'll come right up the Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. And if we want to get in on this MLB action, mm -hmm. how much, how, when's the cutoff? How many more spots do you have? I have about 50 spots left. Okay. Um, it's going like hotcakes. It's getting sold out. Um, <clears throat> every, I mean, it, people are just excited. People are actually making money this recession time. Right. Compared to 07, right? Yeah. 07, 08, people are actually making money because actually the government's helping them out. So they are making that four or $5,000 a month. Right. Off that and the stimulus check up to 100. Right. Um, so they're, they're buying my picks still. So it's a good thing. I'm finally, you know, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Like people are ready to go um, to, to, um, to bet with me. So, yeah. That's amazing. Well, Baseball starts July 4th, I think. Uh, I think that first week of July. Um, but it should be uh, starting for sure July. Cool. I'm excited. Well, good luck. Thank you so and, much. And I am going to buy your picks. Awesome. And I'm going to, I know where you live. Oh. And I'll let y'all know how it goes. <laughs> we'll have you back at it the end. It will be awesome. Yeah. We're going to have like baseball parties here. We, yeah, <laughs> we should. After the season, yeah. let's come back and I'll tell you, I'll explain my, um, how it went as my, um, as a, as a, one of your customers. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. And we'll do like another review. Oh exactly. my God, we should do that next year. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Let's plan it. Thanks awesome. so Sounds much. Good. Excited. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for listening today. And if we brought you any value, please rate, subscribe, and share our podcast. Also, please make sure to connect with us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Until next week, I'm your host, Paula Wye.